Elon Musk's new innovative technology could connect the human mind directly to devices. If this idea is developed successfully, it will be revolutionary to help people with neurological conditions. This all started with one video. At first glance, the video is impressive. A monkey plays the classic Atari game Pong using only its mind, its mental commands wirelessly transmitted to a computer. Uploaded to YouTube on April 8, 2021, it has been viewed 5.7 million times and received some 120,000 likes. Among those who really like the clip is Elon Musk. That's not just because Monkey Mind Pong is the kind of sci-fi stuff that gets Musk jazzed. It's because of that monkey, it's named Pager, the video's narrator tells us is Musk's monkey. Or rather, Pager belongs to Neuralink, a company Musk founded in 2016. Neuralink is dedicated to developing a device that, once implanted in the human brain, would allow a computer to translate a person's thoughts into action and eventually allowing the individual to do anything we do today through typing, pressing buttons, or manipulating a mouse or joystick by simply thinking about the desired result instead. It would also, Musk says, allow information to be beamed from a computer back into the brain. Musk has said that in the future, we'll all need brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, that the only way to keep up with rapidly advancing artificial intelligence will be to merge with the machines, cyborg-style. In fact, Neuralink is developing a chip that would be implanted in people's brains to simultaneously record and stimulate brain activity. It's intended to have medical applications, such as treating serious spinal cord injuries and neurological disorders. During a live-streamed interview at the Wall Street Journal's CEO Council Summit on Monday, Musk was asked what Neuralink planned to do in 2022. Musk said, Neuralink is working well in monkeys, and we're actually doing just a lot of testing and just confirming that it's very safe and reliable, and the Neuralink device can be removed safely. He added that we hope to have this in our first humans, which will be people that have severe spinal cord injuries, like tetraplegics, quadriplegics next year, pending FDA approval. Musk said that Neuralink standards for implanting the device are substantially higher than what the FDA requires. Musk reiterated the 2022 timeline in a tweet. He said that progress will accelerate when they have devices in humans, as it is hard to have nuanced conversations with monkeys. Musk has previously offered earlier timeframes for Neuralink to implant its chips in humans for the first time. He said in February that Neuralink could start implanting the tech in people by the end of 2021. In 2019, Musk said Neuralink hoped to begin human testing by the end of 2020. We have seen that Musk has a history of over-promising and under-delivering on project timelines. After raising $205 million in July, Neuralink said it would channel the funds toward developing its chip so that it could allow quadriplegics to control digital devices with their minds. Quadriplegia, or tetraplegia, is the full or partial paralysis of the arms and legs. Neuralink isn't the only company developing brain interface technology. In July, a 20-person biotech firm called Synchron obtained approval from the Food and Drug Administration to start human testing. The billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk's brain chip startup is preparing to launch clinical trials in humans. The Silicon Valley company, which has already successfully implanted artificial intelligence microchips in the brains of a macaque monkey named Pager and a pig named Gertrude, is now recruiting for a clinical trial director to run tests of the technology in humans. Musk, the world's richest person, with an estimated $221 billion fortune, said last month he was cautiously optimistic that the implants could allow tetraplegic people to walk. Also, Neuralink, the Elon Musk-owned biotech company that's developing brain implants for humans, has pushed back against accusations from an animal rights group that its test monkeys were mistreated. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine has said that it had submitted a complaint to the U.S. Department of Agriculture in which it accuses researchers of violating the Animal Welfare Act while testing Neuralink devices on 23 macaque monkeys. The monkeys in question were housed at a primate research facility at the University of California at Davis between 27 17 and 2020. Neuralink is developing a chip that would be embedded in a person's skull and linked to electrodes that fan out into their brain. The electrodes would be able to monitor and potentially stimulate brain activity. A draft complaint by the PCRM, seen last week by Insider, said that 23 monkeys housed at UFC Davis experienced extreme suffering as a result of inadequate animal care and the highly invasive experimental head implants. The startup that Elon Musk founded to implant computer chips in people's brains has admitted that it killed eight monkeys during research experiments. The revelation comes in response to a legal complaint from a group that opposes medical testing on animals. 
In response to the accusations, Neuralink, in a blog posted to its website, and acknowledged that eight animals had to be euthanized during the time it was conducting animal-based research at the University of California at Davis. But the company denied that any of the animals involved in its research experienced extreme suffering. The company said in its blog post that two of the animals were euthanized at planned end dates in order to gather key data that could only be obtained by autopsy. The other six animals, it said, were euthanized on the advice of UC Davis veterinary staff after developing a variety of complications, including four cases of infection related to having the device implanted, one complication that involved a bad reaction to the surgical glue used to seal the incision, and one case where the brain chip failed after implantation. Neuralink has since moved its animal research from UC Davis to its own purpose-built animal research facility at its headquarters in Fremont, California. PCRM said in a statement after Neuralink's blog posting that it fails to acknowledge the significant pain and distress experienced by monkeys used and killed at UC Davis and that based on the animal records that the group obtained, it appears that in some cases the animals suffered for months before they were euthanized. Neuralink responded in a lengthy blog post published Monday. It is important to note that these accusations come from people who oppose any use of animals in research, Neuralink said, adding, We are absolutely committed to working with animals in the most humane and ethical way possible. Neuralink said in the blog post that it relied on UC Davis to house and care for its monkeys while it built its own in-house primate testing facility, which opened in 2020. The company said that once construction of our in-house facility was completed, we were able to bring some unimplanted macaques from UC Davis with us to Neuralink. Neuralink also said in the blog post, We also look forward to a day where animals are no longer necessary for medical research. Yet our society currently relies on medical breakthroughs to cure diseases, prevent the spread of viruses, and create technology that can change how people are able to interact with the world. Neuralink is developing a robot to perform the surgery required to get its implants into human brains. The company has yet to begin human trials. But only time will tell if the Neuralink chip is effective in humans or not. What are your thoughts about it? Tell us in the comments.